16 cars making the call. As they whoa up on the back stretch. Everybody bottlenecking there as we get to the start zone. They get the fist bump. We're underway. Not quite side by side. TJ Stark had the slight advantage, but we stay green nonetheless. TJ Stark's going to lead lap number one. Brandon Chase McDougal second. Brandon Boggs in third. He's in that final transfer spot. Hayden Wise on the outside looking in. TJ Stark running the top. Chase McDougal running the middle. And Brandon Boggs was down on the bottom through one and two. They all go to the top through three and four. Jeffrey Newell in the 17 trying to make his way through the field. The caution flag comes out for Chuck Morris in the 2.0. Jeffrey Newell started 12th, has made his way up to the seventh position. He's so he's four spots out of that final transfer spot. Don't take your eyes off of the 17R. That's a driver that's had just a few laps around here at Fort City Raceway. You probably blindfold him and you drive it. cone on the track going green next time by don't hit the cone don't go underneath it and definitely don't pass before it or you're docked two spots at the next caution or at the end of the race whichever comes first lights are out tj stark chase mcdougall brandon boggs that's your top three in the current transfers Hayden Wise on the outside looking in as we're back underway. Hayden Wise with a nice move on it, coming out of turn number two. Brandon Boggs is going to hold on to that spot. Out of turn two again. Boggs through the high side. Loses ground through one and two. And now Hayden Wise into the final transfer spot. Brandon Boggs on the outside looking in now. Jeffrey Newell Moving, making his way. We're at the halfway point. Newell's now up to sixth. Make that fifth with a slider. Okay, Spiper turns back underneath him, but Newell's going to hold on. Newell now to fifth, trying to chase down the 2B of Brandon Boggs. Does he have enough time? Well, that is certainly going to help as Giancarlo Ramazar and Chase Wright come together over in turn number two. And that will bunch the field back up. Not what Brandon Boggs wanted to see, but most definitely what Jeffrey Newell wants and needs. the 81 seven there or 81 T of G of Giancarlo Ramazar so obviously something broken on the front end there Right, able to refire and will join the rear of the field.
Lights are out. We're going green here quickly out of turn number three. TJ Stark jumps on the loud pedal at the high side of turn number four. Bunches them up. And we're going to have another caution. Over in turn number two. Looks like 19J. Ten R. That's Rob, Ray Brewer, and the seventy-five of Sean Wilkins coming to a stop at the top of turns one and two. Lights are out. TJ Stark is your leader. Chase McDougal there in second. Hayden Wise third. Brandon Boggs in the 2B on the outside looking in. The 17R Jeffrey Newell right behind him. And back underway. Boggs down to the bottom. Jeffrey Newell gets a little overzealous in turn number one and spins it around. And that'll bring out the caution. And imagine Jeffrey Newell is just going to pull it off, and he is. That'll end his night. He'll get ready for his midget feature race coming up next. Or coming up here. Yeah, coming up next. Well, after the next semi feature. After a period of time, they all just run together. Lights are out again. We're going to try it again. Seven laps in the books. Five laps remain. TJ Stark, Chase McDougal, Hayden Wise, your top three in the current transfer spot. Brandon Boggs on the outside looking in. Now Case Piper there as well, the 21 C. Wise gets around the 73 of Chase McDougal. Brandon Boggs goes up to the top. Only fitting as the side of his car says, hey, top's up here, bud. Now back to the bottom through one and two. Hayden Wise is now in second. Uh, the bubble man is the 73. 73 of Chase McDougal. And the red flag's going to come out. We got one hard flip over the top of one and two. Safety officials quickly there. Getting him right it over. So safety officials that Driver is okay. I believe that's the 58, David Beasley. Left rear is flat. I'm going to put him on the hook. Hard tumble after making contact and bouncing off that cushion. That cushion's getting quite gnarly down there. So race officials getting everybody lined back up so we can quickly go green. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, here at Port City Wasteway that have joined us tonight and sticking it out. I know it's a longer night than normal. And thank you to those tuning in live on Start to Finish TV. 
a little easier for you guys. You guys could kick back in your couch or your recliner. As we are quickly back to green. Caught some of the field sleeping there. Oh, TJ Stark sideways over in turn number two, and that'll cost him. Holy cow, Hayden Wise to the lead point as the white flag is out. McDougal now battle for that final transfer spot. Brandon Boggs in the 2B, but the caution is going to come out. Holy cow, TJ Stark hits the cushion over in the top of turn number two and costs him the lead, and he pulls off flattens the left rear on the double zero T. Heartbreak for TJ Stark there. So Hayden Wise is your race leader now. Chase McDougal there in second. Brandon Boggs in that final transfer spot as we are showing them green and white together. Case Piper in the 21C on the outside looking in. It's a one lap shootout. Hayden Wise paces him down the back stretch. Goes more towards the middle. Now slides up high. And back on the loud pedal. The green and white together. One lap remaining. Chase McDougal bounces off the cushion as well. But holds on to that spot. Hayden Wise is going to pick up the semi feature win. Drag race for the final spot. Chase McDougal second. Brandon Boggs. By point zero one three, will hold on to that final transfer spot. Case Piper made a charge there at coming out of turn number four, but just a little late. But race fans have had a round of applause for the driver out of Hunt Huntersville, North Carolina, the 94 of Hayden Wise, picking up the semi-feature win.